Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why would they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle we are in the port city of porto and this unmistakably the estadio do dragao blue certainly the color Some performance and now here comes the response Serbia have chosen to go with a 3-6-1 formation, Jim. Well, in truth, this system can very quickly transform itself into 5-4-1. The widest midfielders will certainly operate as wing-backs once they have to defend. And so either way, this seems to be a move towards the conservative and prioritising a clean sheet. But it certainly doesn't take away from what they can achieve at the other end. There's the whistle. Out to the left it goes. It's a loose ball. And a shot, decent hit and on target. Rodri with the foul. And he's there to hoof it away. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Just ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks so they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Fabian Ruiz. Up towards the front line. He's got away. Good determined running there, but one back by the defence. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with. And it wasn't. Oh, 
Ball's loose. Who's getting there? If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Rodri. It's got through. He's had a shot. Ball through needs to be good here. He's got it and he's got time. And play for a throw. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal and he didn't go for the back heel. Laporte. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Gruich. Still waiting for the first goal. Laporte. Hoists it forward. Lovely bit of skill. A chance to play it in. Cleared away. And the shot! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Is there any support? He might not need it. There's the whistle for half-time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So your views on the first half? I think it's been a very impressive... Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Spain can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Up to meet it! We can get that clear. Oh, just couldn't turn it in. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Gets it into the middle. And that's too far for anyone. And he's going long, and he's cut it out. Fabian Ruiz. And it's played forward. He doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Yeah, that does look a foul, referee's given a free kick. Well, 
more than happy to take the muscular approach. Laporte. It is still anyone's game, nil-nil. Over to the left. He's gone for it! Oh, that's a waste. Well, Peter, he clearly felt he was being invited to shoot, and it wasn't the worst decision he could have made. Shooting chance! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. He's gone out for a throw-in. it out to the wing looks to dink one in and he's got the ball glued to his feet Fabian Ruiz Whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. <laughs> Forward it goes. Fabian Ruiz with a definite foul there. Serbia are in search of their winner. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Serbia merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. The final five minutes. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Gorgeous control there. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Hoists it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Laporte. Into stoppage time, and it is still nil-nil. Laporte. Laporte drives it forward. What an adventurous run from a defender. Diving header! Oh, it's in! And that might well be that! Oh, super header, wonderfully acrobatic. Our oh, strikers love a diving header, and he timed that to perfection. And when the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that fake. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished.
Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Spain take... So that's it. It is all over. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end.